when you talk about BRRRR, which is a, BRRRR stands for, you see, people will see it on, on online, it's B-R-R-R-R. Uh, buy, uh, renovate, uh, refinance, and repeat. Okay, it's actually very similar to buy and hold. And I actually like the Burr strategy, just not for everybody. What do I mean by that? A lot of a lot of people want to get into real estate because they saw something maybe on H real estate investing specifically, because you saw something on HGTV or Bravo television. They you see the before picture and then you see the after picture. And I was like, oh my God, honey, we can do this too. Look. Not everything gets done in 22 minutes, okay? That, like, like the shows show you. They have a, a team of experts. And most people don't have the time to actually go through the renovations. Like for myself, I, I, I like to coin myself as a lazy real estate investor. What do I mean by that? So if you see the shelves behind me here, I could not put these shelves up by myself. In fact, you do not want to give Jazz a hammer. I'm not going to be good with it. I do very passive investments, condo mm. investing, multiplexes, things that are not going to need a lot of work. In fact, it's not very exciting. It's very boring. Some of them are like watching paint dry or watching grass grow. Very, very boring investments. But I'll, I'll take this from Warren Buffett. He always said and still says that I want to keep my investments boring and my lifestyle exciting. You don't want your investments to be exciting. That generally is not a good thing. And so when you're looking at when you're looking at uh, uh, buy and hold assignments or Burr, and just to jog my memory, there was the fourth the one. Flip, you flip, flip. So Burr versus flip. Yeah, look, flipping to me is just is is, is again. I I probably don't like flipping because you're kind, you're somewhat speculating. And what do I mean by that? You're buying a home, you're going to do some renovations, and you're going to flip it. But what if the market? What if the market didn't perform at the rate that you needed to? In fact, let's talk about today's situation. I have I know people who have bought who bought homes last year. They're going to do the renovations, and they are doing uh, renovations. Construction also stopped for a while during the first month and a half for the, uh, for the pandemic. You couldn't allow the suppliers to come in, the service providers to get in, the plumbers, the electricians. They couldn't get in and do any work. And then you didn't see the amount of sales and consumer confidence was low. Yes, values crept up a little bit, but as a real estate investor, if you were going to flip, you a 3% increase might not have worked well in your performa. Mm -hmm. So you're always, you're always trying to time the market. See, if anybody wants to know, like, this is what you should write down right now if you're watching or listening, okay? This is my number one tip when it comes to real estate investing, okay? Because real estate investing and real estate in general is very forgiving, but I'm going to give you what I'm going to say in a sec. So I want you to remember that real estate is very forgiving because the market will go up and down, as I mentioned. But what I want you to always think about when you're thinking about investing in real estate is putting time in the market. Not try to timing, not try to time the market. Nobody here is Nostradamus last time I checked. So trying to time the market and, you know, I, I used to have a crystal ball in here as a prop just to show people that, oh, Jazz has the crystal ball. But all kidding aside, nobody has that crystal ball. So stop trying to time the market. Just put time in the market and you will win specifically in the greater Toronto area.